Discourse, debate, secret lingerie pageants. It's all here, it's all international diplomacy, and it's all the time at the United Nations. This is Splatmanistan. With scorched earth and unclaimed bodies in every direction, not to mention the staggering levels of poverty and inbreeding, it's a billboard to everything best and worst. It is run by this horse. A horse? In government? This is Tramples. Murderer, fascist, Clydesdale. Frightened civilians kowtow beneath his iron hoof of hate. Meanwhile, Ne Guevara here reigns from his golden palace on high. I heard he forces people to take part in his state-sponsored steeplechases. When he joins in, they become people chasers. Everyone dies. But it's not just mindless slaughter. There's corruption too. Much of the state budget goes to celebrating the horse's birthday. This year, he had a parade where he drank too much and, wait for it, swallowed a tiki torch before taking out his frustration on the crowd. Look, he even had a blimp. Nine months into his coup, Tramples had killed more than the last three ice ages and peanut allergies combined. Appeasements had been tough, but also futile. We've bent over backwards in many more shameful positions trying to appease this monster. For a time, his people enjoyed bread lines and soup kitchens whilst we were sending financial aid. And the horse must have got a bread and soup craving because he ate everything and hopped into his private orchard to chow down on some Braeburns. A true dictator. Bah! Put enough bullets in any problem, and the problem goes away. Which is why we're assembled here today. With no sign of atrocities slowing down, our efforts redoubled. Last month, a preemptive peacekeeping initiative was launched, allying our elite task force with local dissident groups and other armed political lunatics. Yes, now you are speaking man talk. We take the fight to Splatsmenistan. That was the plan. But this one horse, his super strength, lightning reflexes, and his unexpected know-how of battle tactics sent them packing with a clear and powerful message. Specifically, a message in corpses which could be read from space. Is he taunting us? That, or an open letter saying, try again and help me improve my penmanship. Either way, we learned what happens when absolute power meets absolute horsepower. Eh? So what? Give him the standard UN bribe and tell him to cut it out. Not quite. Our latest intelligence shows Tramples wants to expand his borders. A killer horse, that's one thing. A killer horse with imperial ambitions? Uh. I'm going to be sick. Tramples and his entourage are wrapping up an international goodwill tour as we speak. And before anyone says, New Leaf, here's his trail of destruction so far. China, where he tried to jump its Great Wall and almost made it. Then on to Brazil, where he knocked over Christ the Redeemer, kickstarting a one Christ landslide. And then, the Taj Mahal. Oh no! What did he do? I can't say, but experts predict it'll take 12 years to clean. We must face facts. Without sensible alternatives, only one diplomatic option remains concerning tramples. More war? More bribery? More surrender? We will catch this horse unawares and send him to a farm upstate. Very upstate. I've invited Tramples here next week to accept membership into the United Nations. Assassinate him? Is there any way we can beat him? Not a clue. Armchair generals of every nation have been working around the clock, watching back-to-back -back episodes of the Looney Tunes. And this is the closest thing they came up with that can be called a plan.
So, having filled up on ten casserole dinners before takeoff, Tramples jetted across the Atlantic on his diplomatic mission. And with the inevitable smell of horse poo coming from his private plane violating the New York skyline, Tramples finally landed outside the United Nations building, where he was ambushed by the press. Tramples! 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 What? Tramples! 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 Where'd you hide the bodies? The people deserve answers, Tramples. Good answers. Tramples, are the rumors about you and Black Beauty true? <laughs> Tulips for the widows. Medium strength mop. Tramples won't be taking any more questions today. Please submit all your inquiries in oats, apples, and hay bales. Wow. X-rated violence in under five minutes. Your scheme had better work, or the Arabian Peninsula will publicly endorse the murder horse. I can't stop shaking. It feels like disco dancing with a T-Rex. Tramples! On behalf of the United Nations, I, uh... Does he... Do you talk? I speak for His Excellency, the Lord Tramples. Can't he speak for himself? No. He's a horse. Sorry about the mess. My lord tends to see the word press as an instruction rather than a profession. For the sake of peace, we are willing to overlook his latest crime. Come now, ambassadors. What country doesn't engage in a little murder now and then? Tramples is simply a statesman in favour of family, faith and the occasional blood sports. A quadruped for modern times. A visionary for a grateful nation. Visionary is putting breakfast and dinner into a single meal and calling it Brinner. Who the hell are you? I am Eric, Grand Vizier for my Lord Tramples. Our glorious leader welcomes your overdue invite to the family of nations. Now, where might we adjourn for refreshments and cucumber water? I, uh, inside? But first, maybe Tramples would graciously accept a gift on behalf of the other nations. A welcome token that says, please don't tread on me. I came here expecting a degree of bootlicking, but a gigantic horse statue. Trojan. American made. A little seed funding here and there. But It's covered in applesauce. My lord, what say you? <laughs> he approves. Well... Normally I hold you and your diplomatic clique with the same esteem and rightful reverence as an asthmatic termite. But this gesture may yet have... Now! Do it now! Before he tramples everyone! And run! Run for your lives! Mm -hmm. Got him. Got him. We actually killed the devil horse. <laughs> the old crate and atomic bomb routine, hmm? What? You know Hamas tried something similar last week with a grenade launcher. Almost ended the ceasefire then and there. <laughs> oh, makes you wonder, what's really the difference between a ceasefire and reloading? What? How? Why aren't you on your knees pleading the fifth? Firstly, my lord only counts to four. Second, if you'd kindly be patient and wait for the smoke to clear, you learn why you really shouldn't aggravate him. Four trots means upset, and I just counted twelve. He hasn't been this furious since he confused firing lines with lying dancing. But where's he gone? What's he gonna do? What, what, what happens next? Vengeance quest, obviously. To the initiated, which every one of you are about to be, consider it a horsey jihad. Hoarding coffins might be a smart investment right about now. Oh well. Alas. Who's going to clean this soot up? I'm looking at you, Belgium. And where's my cucumber water?
One week of horrific carnage later, the United Nations decided to capitulate and broker a deal with the now infamous murder horse. All in favor of making Trample's UN Secretary General. Nay. And all in favor of electing Trample's Secretary General and King of Democracy, a title I just made up that comes with a crown. Aye. Congratulations on your loss. As a reward, everyone's invited to a party in Splatmenistan to see the fledgling nation you know, fear, and will learn to love. Mandatory attendance, of course. <laughs> oh good, we're invading Germany. And so, innocence was shattered, natives scattered, and innards splattered, thanks once again to Tramples the Murder Horse. In time, world democracies would fall in line and cooperate, but not before some had a go at building their own equally bloodthirsty deterrent. It's all Funke! Who steps in all his enemies with bloody brute force? Who crushes every dissident without remorse? He's the ruler of one crawler and a tyrant, of course. He tramples the murder, the murder horse. Nay. <laughs>